You had asked me about UX. Yes. And I told you that um, I had uh, submitted a talk to uh, Ascon. It was really, it was a lesson that we learned from my startup. So in addition to um, the work that I do for Startup Week in Education and kind of in conjunction with that, I went to a Startup Week in Education and I started a startup called LessonCast. It started with kind of this UI, UX problem. And while all of these ways for teachers to share and collaborate exist, we, we weren't seeing a, a corresponding improvement in instruction. So we didn't see with the rise of all of these sharing tools that all of a sudden teachers were able to talk to other teachers and all of a sudden instructional practices were improving. The lesson plan that you would put online was a really poorly designed tool both for kind of 21st century sharing mm -hmm. and it was it was not designed to be a self-led instructional tool that would help one teacher uh, learn and become a better instructor. It's mm -hmm. not designed for that purpose, but that's the, the purpose that it's kind of served. We needed this new vehicle. We had this super highway, but no one had invented this vehicle for teachers that was suited for that purpose. It was a UX problem. It was a what, is the, what are the ways that teachers look at resources they need? And what is their experience when they're looking for resources? And what are the ways in which teachers best learn? Mentor teachers are the uh, most proven way that a, uh, a teacher develops from a new instructor to a highly effective one. Mm -hmm. and, the, and what happens is these mentor teachers have these things called one-legged conversation. They have this conversation of saying, hey, like, have the kids read their sentences and walk towards the wall and they can only turn if they uh, run into a punctuation mark and therefore if they have run in sentences it's a really fun way of getting yeah. them to <laughs> realize that and do like it's a cool and they're like okay got it and then they apply that to their classroom they use that kind of time home wisdom as a fun engaging way to, to teach kids punctuation and to get them to, to sort of notice their own run on sentences. So it's just one example. The problem with that is that um, the way that teachers look for that information is they Google search now. We developed this different tool that we call the lesson cast, which was really designed in the in the way that on the constraints of 21st century technology. So it's mm -hmm. two and a half minutes. It's uh, it mimics that short conversation. It's audio visual. Um, it has a format of you know having an instructional process or an introduction and a procedural process and a uh, interdisciplinary connections and a, and a and a way for you to do differentiation and accommodation and enrichment and a conclusion and very structured process to give you just the right of information for that other teacher to now say I don't have the specific information about what I should do when but I have the philosophy that I need in order to replicate really good instruction um, but it all came from looking at the kind of UX of where are teachers really learning what does professional development look like what are the mm -hmm. environments in which teachers are developing and then saying how can we mimic that environment best using the the constraints and the tools that we have in 21st century communication